My dad's a total jerk, and not even good looking. So how come he was able to marry Lexi, a stunning model who's been on the cover of Vogue and dated several famous football players? <laughs> the way to start the story. So, my father's the jerk, you know, and, um, he's ugly. <laughs> and you see, my mother, she is the best. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video with me, Grayson. You good old, buddy old host -o friendo over hero. So we're back to more of these things and you know I always tell it's a Facebook one because it's square instead of rectangle. But this was a bit of a beauty. <laughs> well, we live in South America and my dad made lots of money taking backhanders. Yeah, he was a corrupt politician who was giving government contracts to whoever paid the biggest bribe. That's why we lived in an enormous mansion, even though his government salary was less than $50,000 per year. Wouldn't, like, f someone find that sketchy as all hell, though? Like, like, wouldn't someone looking out, looking at that politician go, like, hold on, he's got no other form of connections, and as a politician, he doesn't make that much money a year. How the hell can he afford to live in a place like that? Wouldn't, like, people be questioning that at this point? <laughs> How do I know all this? Well, my dad told me. Oh, he that makes sense. He even tried to recruit me. He said I'd make lots of money. I would have taken that opportunity. Free money, free money. <laughs> but I refused and told him that millions of people were living in poverty because of corrupt politicians like him. Of course, he got angry and- No. I can't swear. No, duh. He would get angry at you. <laughs> like you just accused him of something drastic. No crap, you'd be pissed. Make her dress in revealing maid costumes and ordered her to cook for him or clean the living room while he watched. Oh God. Here we go. He seemed to get a kick out of having power over her. Okay, maybe you think Lexi deserved it. I mean, she only married Dad for his money. But- <laughs> that That's actually hilarious if that's- Like, that's just a silly dynamic that honestly just worked out bad for her because she only married someone- She always seemed so sad. One day, I found Lexi crying. I asked what was wrong. And she told me my dad had screamed at her for hours and said he'd kick her out if she annoyed him again. I said I was sorry for how my dad was treating her, but suddenly she pushed me back, straddled me, and started kissing me. Okay, these are worse than the ones that we see on YouTube. <laughs> me all over. She whispered, show me how a real man treats a woman. I should have walked away, but I was only 18. Having a gorgeous model come on to me was the best thing that had ever happened to me. Literally, most of the time, these animated stories don't, get ever, don't ever get demonetized for me. Except for a few special cases where I just swear a bit too much. <laughs> That's why I'm not doing it so much anymore. But this one might get demonetized because of what it is. As we were making out, I heard my dad walking towards the room. Lexi laughed and told me I had lipstick all over my face. I panicked and jumped behind the couch to hide. Dad came in and sat next to Lexi, saying, I've got a business trip this weekend. There will be plenty of security guards around to keep an eye on you, and they'll notify me if you try to go anywhere. I recommend you don't make another mistake. Now give me a kiss. Ugh, I wanted to throw up. Was my dad kissing the same woman I'd made out with two minutes earlier? Dude, d d d d d your dad and this girl is married, you know? Um, I'm sorry to break it to you, but they've probably done more than just kiss. And you should have had full knowledge of this, like, a few moments beforehand? Uh, I don't know. Did she, like, forget it in the moment? Hmm. Gross! Gross! <laughs> but after he left, Lexi and I started kissing again. It was such a rush because I knew it was wrong, and I never even held a girl's hand before, and now I was making out with a supermodel. Virgin hours. But then, Lexi fell pregnant. There was no doubt I was the father because it happened during one of my dad's business trips. Of course, we didn't tell my dad. He thought the baby was his. But after my daughter, Haley, was born, my dad became even more of an ass. He told Lexi she was fat and threatened to give Haley away if she continued screaming, even though she was just a baby. Lexi and I thought about running away, but we didn't have the money. And my dad would have found us anyway. The only way we'd be free was if my dad died or went to jail. So oh, here we go. So he's going to come up with a scheme to expose him as a corrupt politician. He's going to get sent to jail for that. Is that what we're about to do? Oh, I came up with a plan. I told my dad I'd changed my mind about helping with his business deals. He was so happy. Or not. Okay. He said he'd never been prouder of me. Over the next few weeks, I went with him on business meetings with various companies. It was shocking how open they were about bribing my dad and how much money they were going to make. They wouldn't have been so open if they'd known that I'd planted hidden microphones in Dad's office. I was recording every word they said. Oh, okay, so he is. Ed. Okay. After a few months, I had enough evidence to send my dad to prison for the rest of his life. 
but I had an even better idea. I decided to blackmail him. That was the hardest conversation of my life. I'll never forget my dad's face when I told him, she's not your child. He said, what? I said, I don't know if this is the better idea. I mean, him getting sent to jail, he might work his way out because, cor because corruption in politics and all, but this way could also get you screwed over. He could just, like, get rid of you. You treat your wife and my daughter like servants, and we're not putting up with it. I've got hours of recordings which prove you've been taking bribes. If something should happen to me or my family, one of my friends will send them to every single journalist in this country. As well as... <laughs> Imagine if all the, um, journalists and the uh, cops and everyone are just corrupt as all hell and it, this just uh, results in nothing happening. <laughs> the cops, and you'll go to prison for the rest of your life. Dad's face went red. He was so angry, he punched a hole into the wall. But he knew he couldn't touch me. An hour later, Lexi, Haley, and I left my dad's house. We took his favorite car and $50,000 and moved into a hotel. I thought we had plenty of money, but we didn't. Lexi was used to living in luxury, and she hated the cheap hotel we stayed in. After just three months, she'd spent all our money. She told me she couldn't survive like this, and said she'd find someone else if I couldn't give her everything she wanted. There's a, like, I'm pretty sure he would have realized there's a reason why she married who she married, because money is a big factor to some people. But how was I supposed to do that? I didn't have a job. I was barely out of high school. So, I went back to my dad and demanded five million dollars. I knew we could afford it. He laughed in my face and said, Oh, I knew you were just like me. Didn't you say you wanted to earn your money legally? He was right. Maybe I wasn't any better than him. But I didn't care. I... Is this just gonna turn out that he ends up becoming as bad as his father and this cycle just continues? We moved to a better hotel and we were happy for a while. But over the next few months, I began to see why Lexi had married my dad. She was incredibly shallow and only cared about money. Now you realize it. Oh my goodness. She got really offended and said, Do you think it's fun staying in all the time with a little boy like you? That night, I slept on the couch, and when I woke up, the safe where we kept our money was gone, and so was Lexi. I was left with Haley, but no money to take care of her. I had no choice but to go back to my dad to get more money. But when I went to see him, he said, You promised not to ask for more money. Oof. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's bad mean. But, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I said, I don't care. Lexi stole everything from me. Just give me one million. That'll be enough for me. This really is the last time I'll ask you for anything. He warned, this will have consequences. I didn't know what he meant, and I didn't care. He gave me the money, and I drove back to the hotel Haley and I lived in. But a few days later, when I went to Haley's kindergarten to pick her up, they told me her mom and grandfather had picked her up already. My blood ran cold. A few minutes later, my cell beeped with a text from my dad. It read, come to my house. We need to talk. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> I didn't want to go, but I had to make sure Haley was safe. When I arrived, Dad was holding my daughter in his lap. She was sleeping and well. He said, So, my son, the tables have turned. I won't play your games anymore. Your daughter and Lexi will live far away from you. They'll be safe as long as you don't publish any of the recordings. I begged and pleaded. Yeah. You know what? Who would have known blackmail would would backfire so horribly? Don't take my daughter. I want to live with her. I'll, I'll give you back the million dollars if you'll just let me be with her. But my dad said, you're lucky she's still alive. And since I'm feeling generous, I'll let you see your daughter once a year. I looked at my sleeping child. She was so beautiful. I wanted to hold her tight and never let go. But I knew I had no choice. So, I went back to my hotel. I realized I had a million dollars and almost every freedom in the world. Life wasn't too bad, even though I missed Haley like crazy. That's why, over the next few months, I apologized over and over to my dad, hoping he'd change his mind. But he wouldn't. Since I didn't see Haley very often, she barely knew who I was when I visited her once a year. I took lots of photos of her while we were together, but she always looked sad and never called me dad. Seeing her like that 
this just got more depressing over like the span of the entire thing. It's so weird that this is a type of story that people put out. It's just like, oh, I got my stepmother pregnant, but his, but my father's a shithead. Broke my heart. My she deserved pregnant. better. I was desperate to do something, but. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? You're, you, you're literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. You, you can't publish this blackmail you have because the blackmail backfired and then was used against you. Which, come on, you should have seen coming. You, you really should have. And then another point is just. You should have just put it to the cops. You should have just seen how that went and all would have been well. Since I couldn't use the recordings I had, I didn't know what. The more I thought about it, the only solution I could think of was if my dad died. Now, I'm not saying I plan- Or you're gonna try and kill your father, that's, 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 that's a bit of a- bit. His death. He was always surrounded by bodyguards, guys who'd been in the army. I wouldn't stand a chance against them. But one day, my dad was assassinated. Of course, it had nothing to do with me, but it solved all my problems. I got my daughter back and inherited all my dad's money. The only one who was left with nothing was Lexi. She came to see me and begged me to give her some money. I asked her, why should I give money to someone who stole from me? She replied, because your dad took all my money away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the mother of your child. Wow. In the end, we agreed I'd pay her a small allowance as long as Haley lived with me. I hate giving money to a selfish woman like her. But at least I have my daughter back. And that's all that matters to me. So your problems were solved because your father got assassinated. Like, not long after you started thinking about a plan to have him die. But this assassination has nothing to do with you. Convenient time is convenient. <laughs> anyway, so next video is going to be a bit of a big one. Hopefully, if the next video is a video that I've been slowly editing over the past week. Because it's like... A an hour long raw file it's not going to be that long boy i want to try and decrease its length as much as it possibly can without ruining the video i think it might be like at the 25 to half an hour long it might get to i don't know not sure yet also we're now using epidemic sound so better music in the background maybe i don't know it depends on what i do anyway guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like down below and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe because you know it's always helpful and there's a membership button down there. If you want to support the channel a little bit more, that's always handy. Until next time, guys. See ya.